everyone, welcome to JoJo's Personality TV. I'm your host, Josiah. And our mission at JoJo's Personality TV is to provide opportunities for youth and their parents to explore careers and set achievable goals. Hello everyone, I am so super excited to be here today to introduce Jillian Estelle. She is a 13 year old model and actor. And she started the movie Black or White. Hi Jillian. Hi. So, how was your day today? Good. I've done a I, no, I haven't done a lot, but I have a lot <laughs> <on> today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand that whole tight schedule. Yes. So, please tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Jillian Estelle. I'm 13 years old. I have celiac disease, which I've had since I was a baby, since I was born. I've had it. And I'm also an actor. Tell the viewers what celiac disease is. Celiac disease is a intestinal um, immune autoimmune system disease, which I have. It's where you are unable to eat gluten, and your intestines are different than a normal person. And what kind of foods have gluten? Um, almost everything actually has gluten. It's like, you know how like bread and everything, it's like, it's bread. I can't have it. I can't have cookies. I can't have most crackers. I mean, they make gluten-free versions of things, but normal versions of things I am unable to have. So how have you adapted to eating gluten-free items? Um, ever since I was born, so it was pretty easy because I never knew anything different. If I get cross-contaminated or if I eat something that's not gluten-free, I get sick and I could possibly, if it's so much, like it's a amount that my body can't contain, I could die from it. Oh, wow. So I know you said you've been, you said, um, you told the viewers you've been an actress. So how long have you been acting? I've been acting for 10 years, so a decade, a long time. <laughs> what do you like most about acting? I love just being on set, meeting everyone, being able to be someone I'm not. Also, because like just being on set, it's a lot of fun. And when you're not someone you are, like I'm, I'm normally just a normal kid, but when you get on set, you can be a drama queen, you can be really <laughs> funny, you can be really dumb, it's just super fun. So what is set like? Is it like on the movies? No, actually it's completely different. It's like, it's funny because when you watch a show, as being an actor, when you watch a show, you're like, yeah, that's fake, or that's real, like that's really cool. But if you think about it, like for me, for the movie that I was in black or white, all the set stuff, we had to go on set. So it wasn't, some shows and some movies are shot on a stage, but my movie was shot on site. That's what they call it. You go to the place. So like they changed certain places. So one time it was a doctor's or a hospital. And then the next they changed it to like a house or yeah, it's just, they change things. <laughs> it's really cool. So when you have to travel to those places, was the transportation provided or did you have to drive? It's, um, it depends, of course, on the set and who you're working with, but everything that I've been on, it was provided. Cool. And tell the viewers about your journey. I know that this has to be so fun. You, you know, you're just so inspirational. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are just such an inspiration to me. And you know, we're the same age and it's like, oh my gosh. I'm like, you know, I have a YouTube channel, but someone my same age is over here with Octavia Spencer. What the? And I'm just like, wow. So you're such an inspiration to me. Thank you so much. So how has this journey been? It's been, it's tough. It's actually, it's like being on set, it's a lot of fun, but it's still work. Like you, you're on set, you have to learn your lines, you have to be able to commit, like, commit fully. Um, my mom sacrificed everything and we moved to LA. So I love my mom and I thank her for everything. Oh, that's so sweet. How has your family reacted to this? <laughs> um, my family is very supportive of it and they love it and they're along for the ride. <laughs> um, how, I see, like, when I look on your Instagram page, and I love your Instagram page, by the way. <laughs> um, I see how um, you still show, like, your regular life. And I think that's pretty cool how you, like, still, you know, are with your friends and you balance out time with them. Yeah. You know, it shows how strong a person can be. Yeah. One thing my mom always is, like, I'm, I'm a super 
I'm super friendly, I guess that's what I would say. Like, I'm a person, I can't be without, like, friends. Like, <laughs> I can't be without running. I can't be without doing friends and hanging out with friends. So, like, even if we're at an event or something or if we're on set, I'm still going to be a normal kid. We all put our pants on the same way. True. So, I know you worked alongside Octavia Spencer and Kevin Costner. How was that? They were both amazing. We became like a family because we were on set for two months together. So we were like super close. And then when it was over, I cried because it's so sad leaving everyone because you're so close and you just work together and it's a lot of fun. And I know you said you were sad when it ended, but what is the new project that you're working on? I have been auditioning a lot, but I'm not allowed to say personally. And, oh, yeah, and I just recently, not not really recently, but last year, I did the night shift, and that was a lot of fun. With Jennifer Beals, she was my mom. Oh. Oh. You know, and it's, it's so amazing when you think about it because, you know, sometimes you, you watch the people, then when you actually meet them, do you ever get nervous? No, I'm, I'm a person that I'm not starstruck at all so like when I'm meeting someone I'm like super excited but I'm not like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh like I don't freak out about it right I I'm still super excited and it was amazing meeting them I this is funny but I don't know I didn't know when I started the movie who Kevin Costner even was I knew who Octavia Spencer was because of help yes so it was a lot of fun yeah I love that movie it was a really good movie so um you said you audition a lot how often do you do auditions and what do you do um auditions i probably do three a week at the minimum probably and um recently or the other day i had two auditions in one day and it's like you gotta you have to accept like you don't have to accept them if it's not something you're comfortable with but you still of course would love to always accept them because you never know you could still book it and they could change some of the words or content and auditions are it depends on who you are I personally think they're a lot of fun some people get nervous some people just like aren't comfortable with going in with a casting director but when you go in you sit in a waiting room you sign in and you go in with the casting director you read your lines and then you just leave and you never really here if you don't if you don't book it of course you're never going to hear anything um but usually your manager will let you know they'll be like well they they went with someone else or um they really liked her so they're going to keep her or we're going to keep her on a wait list like thinking of her or they bring you back in again and i know like you said there are so many um auditions that you have to do like two in one day or three a week how do you balance out your schedule? Um, okay, so I do online school. So school-wise, I'm very flexible because I can call my teachers and be like, okay, today I can't do school. and Or I can just do it the next day. Or um, And then audition-wise, they're not – auditions aren't very flexible because you kind of have to be there when they tell you to be there. Right. So, I mean, if I already have something scheduled, it depends on what it is. I'll have to cancel it. Because auditions, that's what I'm here for. If I'm hanging out with friends, if I'm hanging out with friends, I really just think I should be focusing on my either my audition or going to the audition. So, um, like tomorrow, I had my friend Hunter Payton's birthday party, and I just got an audition. So I have to leave his birthday party early and go back. So I mean, things like that. It just happens anytime. So you kind of have to work around the... Work around auditions, for sure. Right. Is, was that hard to adapt to? Not really, because I'm kind of used to it. Um, other than, I like, I used to do competitive cheer mm. when I lived in Dallas, Texas. Um, and I would have, like, cheer competitions, and I'd have to not go to a cheer competition or go to practice because I have an audition. And sometimes that was hard. But now I'm so used to it, I'm just all right, well, guess we'll have to cancel that or we won't be able to go do that, but I'm used to it. Well, since you're used to it, do you think you'll still continue acting when you grow up? Yeah, I do, actually. I really do think I will. It'll be a lot of fun. (laughs) 
So now about the movie Black and White, what was your favorite part about the movie? <sighs> Being on set and crafty. Crafty is where you get the food. It's the best. It's like really good. They make you the best food. Um, and they have the best chefs. So probably just being able to be with everyone and crafty, of course. <laughs> and, you know, the movie had a really good message, you know, and it shows how family, uh, family came together and pulled through a tough situation. And your character in the movie is so strong, and she had to deal with a lot of stuff. How did you feel playing that role? I had so much fun. It was a lot of fun being able to be Eloise. I enjoyed it so much, and it was, it was, I like it because it was similar to me, not exact, but similar, um, and it was just nice to be able to be someone I'm not. What advice could you give to other kids that, um, you know, want to act like you? Um, keep your head, no, keep your head down, and don't get big-headed because, of course, you don't want to be like that, and be humble. And also, if you're trying to get into the acting business, don't, don't try too hard because being like someone that's trying to be fake and phony and stuff, it's not going to get you anywhere at all. But go to auditions. Don't be nervous because casting directors can see that you're nervous. And just try your hardest. So thank you so much for allowing me to interview you. So tell the viewers how they could um, get in contact with you. Um, you can follow me on all my social media. It's just Jillian Estelle and J-I-L-L-I-A-N-E-S-T-E-L-L. -L -L. And then um, I do have a YouTube channel, which I vlog, every, not every day, but I vlog quite a few days of the week. So you can keep up with my daily life right on that. And it's still just Jillian Estelle. But wait, guys, before we go, we do have a giveaway. We are going to have you guys like and share this video, and we will pick one random person, and whoever that is, they will receive a signed copy of her movie, Black and White. Yes. So you guys are going to go share it. No, you don't might want to. You should. That movie is great. <laughs> thank, thank you. you so much Jillian thank you for interviewing me it was a lot of fun <laughs> nice meeting you you too bye bye don't forget to like us on facebook subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on twitter bye guys be who you wanna be it's your personality be who you wanna be it's your personality